Good morning, champions. I'm already taking notes and getting ready for the day. Are you? Did you bring your journal? A folder? Anything to write on? Look what I got. Ta-da! That emoji folder I showed you when I first introduced note-taking to you. I bet you all thought that I just used it for that video and then threw it off to the side. Not so much. Look at this. I am full of notes and assignments and homework to get done. Check it out. Now, some of these things were in there, but they're ongoing assignments, so I just keep it going, and when I need to pull out something, like this long draft that I did, I've got it right here, and I can pull it out at any time, especially if I'm in a different class. That's a meeting for me, a classroom for you, and I finish early. I've got things that I can work on that I can come back to right here. As we get ready to come back to school, I hope you're all thinking about different things that you can use in your classrooms that I've showed you. It's the easy peasy lemon squeezy school stuff that's been around since you started way back in kindergarten. Having a folder for all your important papers pays off big time. I'm a college student, again, and I still use the same old thing that I learned way back when. I promise it's something that works. When I was standing in front of the whiteboard and teaching you about the ripples of kindness last Friday, I encouraged you to really take note and write lists. Check out my list. Today is Friday, even though you're getting this video on Monday, but I'm working on my assignments right now. Look at that. Be kind, be happy. I take time to just spend four or five minutes every morning and think about all the things I want to achieve or that I know I'm going to experience in that day. I can then add notes as things happen and really focus on what I'm doing here in school. It's my goal in the library to share these little study cubbies with you and have you come visit me so that I can help you when you've got questions, need organizational help, or just want to take your learning to the next level through independent research, journaling topics, writing topics, or even videos. Non-reading information, that's YouTube videos and stuff like you're watching in your classrooms, is the number one way that students now absorb information. You're all auditory learners. It's how information gets in your head. From the time you started talking or listening to your parents to the time you went to kindergarten and listening to a teacher to now showing up in middle school, we're all doing the same stuff. Talk, 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 talk. Do you ever feel like that? Wah, 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 wah. Yes, I know. I get there too. But writing things down, like my Friday list, is what I'm encouraging every single one of you to do. I'm coming around to advisory once we all get settled here, and I'm going to see you with your journals. And I'm so ready to start handing out awesome things like cool gel pens, because you know a cool gel pen might as well be, I was going to say money, but that's not true. Stick with me though, because pens are your money maker. They're the thing that gets your brain engaged, that gets your brain activated, that get your brain excited to see what you're going to learn. Every single day, I show up here at school wondering, what's going to happen today? What am I going to learn about today? And now I think, who can I be kind to today? I know we're asking a ton of you to come in the building excited and ready to go and being kind, but those are the things that you all know of to be a normal part of your school experience. None of that has changed. I know that you're enjoying watching some of the kindness videos happening, and I really hope that they're a way to inspire you to think about your actions and your behavior and your kindness, because those things are what truly make our world and our school and your day right here the best experience possible. I promise, doing things like this, Here's my notebooks, here's the one I started with, and I've got a brand new one because I have another class and more meetings. So I got this one to be a, a scribble one. It's just plain white paper. But carrying all these things around really, really, really helps me pay attention to what's important. Your teachers are going to be telling you lots of things that were important. Remember, you're a genius just like I'm a genius, and you're a champion just like I'm a champion. Did you hear me say that two times in the video on Friday? And then I also explained two times about the circles of kindness and how your teachers all take notes. 
Your teachers will always tell you the most important things you need to know about class more than once. You're thinking about it now, aren't you? You hear the same stuff all the time. Guess what? Write those things down. Get your notebooks out. Get your folder out. And pretty soon you're going to be getting your journals out. I'm delivering this one on our very first day of school, March 1st, to one of you lucky kiddos. Thank you for checking in with me and listening to me. I know we talk really fast because I'm just super excited. I really am like this probably about everything. But I know that it's also a way that I can get you to trust me about how cool it is to study, how fun it is to study, and how interesting it is to study. I know I'm a little bit of a nerd, but if you want to join my nerd herd, come on and get in it with me. Studying is really about your own school process. I love looking back at the things that I've learned and talked about, especially with you in these videos, because it helps me remember why I loved school when I was your age and why I love school now as a teacher. Thank you for thinking about the things that I think with you, and thank you for trying out all of the strategies that I'm giving you, whether it's notebooks and folders and journals or lists or writing things down. School is awesome. You are awesome, and you're a genius just like I'm a genius, and you're a champion just like I'm a champion. So make this last week before we return to school in person for some of you the best week ever preparing for your best first day of school ever. Enjoy the next video, another one about kindness and how it always comes back to us. Think about how you can implement some of that at school when you come back. Have a great day, be kind always, and I'll see you soon in one of my study copies.